Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, I just want to greet you by saying, hey there, hi there, and hello there. You're more than welcome to like this video, share it, comment, and or subscribe. Whatever you feel that you need to do, I absolutely do support you in the energy. It's very likely though, if you're aligned with your higher self by way of the spiritual law, I'm going to absolutely support you in the energy. Nine times out of 10 though, Spirit guided you here for a reason, a season, a lesson, confirmation, so you can make a determination. Whatever that is, it is totally up to you to discern for yourself what it is you need to apply and what you need to leave for somebody else to take. Also, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. If it doesn't apply, baby, let it fly. It's going to help you out so much on this spiritual journey. And welcome to Spiritual Court. If you're returning back to the channel, baby, I love you. You are my beautiful, wonderful, amazing soul tribe. You're coming back because you resonate with my vibe. We are a part of the same soul tribe. I love you. You love me. We are a happy soul tribe, family tree rooted in the truth. Destiny has guided us here today, baby. Let's come on in here and get this spiritual work, baby. Now that we got all the kissing and the hugging and the prerequisite and the commercial breaks out of the way, at least for the beginning, or at least for now, ah, let's get into this energy by way of the moon, honey, honey bunny. To say that we are the victors would be an understatement. Baby, I just heard what's a goon to a goblin. It's almost like a little bitty baby chihuahua fighting a pit bull, honey. Listen, there's people out here competing where they absolutely do not compare. Okay, now let's just keep it real. Let's keep it a buck. This is not new information. It's not something that we're just now finding out. It's something that's becoming more of a reality for our enemies than ever before. Why? Because we ain't got time for that. We're out here ascending to our highest good and baby, we ain't got nobody straddling us with a nasty ass energy on our backs. I just heard, baby, somebody's back could have cracked from all that negativity they threw at you. Their back was not strong enough to take it when it returned to sender. Whoo, they sound like an airbender. Listen, let's go ahead and get into this energy. I've already called in my appropriate protection. I pray that you have done the same. Archangels, can you please help me as I channel this energy? Somebody's saying, I want to be free. Somebody's saying, I want to be free. Somebody could really, um, somebody could really be in a situation where they're having to make a decision about somebody else's life. I just heard last will and testament, four of cups. Okay. Heavy regret, knight of pentacles. Somebody is coming in. To make some type of offer. Somebody's asking for forgiveness in their last moment. Something about this. Two of swords. They don't know which way they're going to go, honey. They're blinded to the truth of where they're going. Somebody's afraid of death because of all of what they've done. Yeah, seven of cups. Illusion. Something about the past. Okay, queen of swords could be significant. Archangel Michael, what is this energy that I'm picking up? The world is over. Somebody's mother tried to sacrifice them. I just heard your mother's been cloaking herself in your energy since you were little. And the reason she did this is so that you got all the bad karma. If everywhere you went, you had enemies, okay, or just something was just always off. She was using your en energy, excuse me, and your enemies against you to cloak herself in your energy so that you would get the karma. Oh, we, this person is under some severe judgment. Toil and labor, listen, working real, real hard. Now it's time for her to go away. It's time. It's like the angels, the death angels are saying, it's time, it's time. Where are you going? This is your moment. This is your time. Three of wands, yeah. Something about going away to a distance. Distant. Leaving the physical body. Leaving, leaving. Yeah, eight of cups. Walking away. Because this mother, whoever this mother figure is... Yeah, they're being made to go away. Like, I don't know what this is. I just heard last will and testament. They could be leaving you some type of gift, Knight of Pentacles, 
some type of an inheritance. Four of Cups is regret. Eight of Cups is being forced to walk away. The world is the end for somebody. I heard last will and testament. Okay, to a sword, somebody is blinded. Somebody does not know where life is going to go after they leave this life. Somebody's terrified. Somebody knows that they're under very severe judgment. Somebody cloaked themselves in your energy your entire life. You never really like had a fair chance. It's like it was their plan and then there was God's plan. And now God is like, mm-mm. I feel like even in taking the butt of this karma, the reason why this mother did this is because you were so pure. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I just had like a little spiritual burp. Did y'all hear that? Like something just passed through me. Something could be passing through you by way of energy, two of cups. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. Well, I don't know what the two of cups is about. I feel like this person could have been doing stuff to you all your life, honey. Yeah, six of pentacles. They're leaving you something, though, in death. Somebody's leaving you something. Page of pentacles, good news about money. You could be thinking, I've been estranged from my mother. I don't know where she's at. She knows where you're at. Yeah, she's saying, I know where you're at. Seven of swords, yeah. Betrayal, heavy betrayal, y'all. She stabbed you in the back. It's been sneaky and deceptive your entire life. You could have poured your heart out to this mother. You could have said, you know what? Like every time I go somewhere, people don't like me. I don't know what it is. And you're a whole earth angel. This person was using something to cloak themselves in your energy. Could have taken your hair. My nose is itching. Spirit says what I'm saying is the truth. This person's leaving you something by way of some type of material gift as they exit the world. It's almost like spirit is saying no more. You can't. Whatever they were doing, they can't do it anymore. Okay, energetically, by way of energy, magic. I just heard fallen star. Your mother's a fallen star. Six of pentacles, okay? Somebody's leaving you something. They're giving you something, a gift. It's like this energy, this mother figure, whoever this is, they're making it very, very clear that you're going to get some type of gift. Yeah, king of pentacles. Whatever this is, it's by way of financial abundance. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Nine of Cups is going to be your wishes to be fulfilled. This person feels as though they are eternally indebted to you. Well, I would think so. Somebody's been manifesting off of your energy for a long time, but I heard their mother did this to them. And so they did it to you is what I'm hearing. Fallen star, fallen star. They're saying I was born with a star in my crown and my mother did this to me. And so this is why they're saying they did it to you. This person is giving me the impression that they're being controlled by something. Archangel Michael, can you please clarify this energy? Yeah, I cannot make it up. Somebody was being controlled. Okay, so whoever this mother is, they were being controlled by something. Somebody took their crown. It could have been a, a mother figure. Emperor in reverse. Somebody was controlling them. I'm getting like a puppet on a string. Somebody pulling the strings, okay? This person is saying, I fought whatever this energy was for a really long time. And this energy, I guess, somehow was working through them. Yeah. It's heartbreaking. Separation. This person is saying, you are my star seed. You are my star child. I knew that you would be stronger than me. This is what somebody is saying. Whatever this energy is, this entity, it's attacked. The mothers of the mothers of the mothers. Like It's like a generational curse that needed to be broken. It's like an entity. Whatever this is. Could have been... Mental illness, um, schizophrenia, something something to attack the crown. It's very controlling. This is what she's saying. Yeah, Ace of Wands, something about a new beginning. This gives me death. Ace of Wands gives me life after death or something after death, but afraid to die because she's begging for mercy is what she's saying. Somebody was being controlled, like straight up and down, y'all, for real, by somebody else, possibly her mother. Somebody says, this mother says, I knew that you would be stronger than me and that you would figure it out. You are the high priestess. You broke a curse, baby, that I don't even know that you realized you were breaking just by your very existence. I don't even know if you were aware of the curse that you were breaking. Maybe you just thought things were tough or maybe you just thought, you know, what is this energy? And you're just moving through life, still being grateful, still being loving, still being kind. And then you could have left this person 
somehow I'm getting distanced, estranged, you know, to go on your journey. This person says, I've always known your destiny. Was that to be great? What I wasn't able to overcome, you're able to overcome. This person is, is very much grateful for the fact that you were the reason that they were protected. At the same time, you were tussling with the entity that I don't even know you realize you were tussling with. Somebody put some type of spirit of promiscuity on you. This could have been a father. I'm getting stepfather. Archangel Michael, show me what I need to see. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Somebody's a slow moving energy. Somebody wanted to slow down your intellect, slow down your wisdom, slow down your path, slow down your power. Somebody knew that once you got to this level, you would no longer be willing to cloak them for whatever reason, okay? This person is saying they could have overcome this demonic force. Whatever this was, okay, I feel like their mother was attacking them and they were attacking you, okay? It had been. Maybe this grandmother was cloaking themselves in your mother's energy and your mother was cloaking herself in your energy and this mother says, I've always known your destiny. I knew that you would be able to overcome. And I knew that once you went on this journey, that you wouldn't be willing to be connected to me anymore. She knew this. Somebody was trying to slow it down, though. Somebody was trying to slow down your ascension. Yeah, so that you wouldn't leave. Nine of Pentacles. Slow moving energy. Somebody wanted to slow down your ascension, slow down your spirituality, slow down your destiny. So that they could benefit from being cloaked in your energy. This person saying, I was never strong enough to overcome this. She's saying, no, I wasn't. I was never strong enough to overcome whatever this force was. Queen of Wands could be significant. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay. Why is that Queen of Wands here? Archangel Michael. Somebody has fire highly aspected in their chart and water. Okay, you don't have to be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Pisces. What else is here? A Aries. You don't have to be that. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is giving me more energetically what she's saying is that Queen of Swords or Queen of Wands, actually. I said Queen of Swords. Somebody didn't want you to be the Queen of Swords. You didn't cut that ass off. But Queen of Wands is somebody attractive, somebody that makes good decisions, somebody that... You know, people respect their opinion. High priestess energy. You're somebody that helps people. You could work with the homeless or uh, some type of nonprofit organization if you're not wanting um, um, spirit is saying if you didn't want to do that or something like you not wanting to do that, but you know that's what you're supposed to do. It was always this person manipulating your energy to confuse you. It's almost like, I don't want to do that, but this is what you really, really want to do. It's like confusing energy, distorting energy. Somebody's saying, I'm in an emergency situation. Hmm. Something like you didn't know what you wanted to do. Okay, let me just give you an example because this energy is coming out very distorted. It's almost like, what am I here for? I don't know my purpose like that. Giving me that inner like, I don't want to do that. But you always felt compelled to do it. Or maybe you thought more about your passion as it related to income or what can I do to make money? Like there was a stipulation on, on what you wanted to do and why, right? For stability, it was always this person creating some type of distorted energy. This was never your energy is what I'm saying, okay? This was somebody else's confusion. Because somebody got to a point where they just kind of gave in to the deity, whatever this was. I don't know. Hold on, y'all. My hands are dry. <laughs> I was washing dishes, baby, and all kinds of stuff. And I keep my hands in water. And I'm like, ooh, why are my hands feel so dry? Like, mm-mm. Yeah, somebody is like trying to hold on. Somebody wants to hold on long enough for you to get clarity on your walk. This is what I'm getting. Somebody's saying, I confused you. You didn't know why you were getting all this bad karma. It was my karma is what I just heard. This is what somebody's saying. It was their karma. And you were just this shield. Okay. Okay is what I'm getting. 
You were like a shield, innocent. I just heard innocent bystander in your own life. Okay? Somebody feels like they owe you something. This person saying whatever they're giving you is going to give you a lot of stability. I don't know if you had situations where you weren't stable financially. Maybe you went through some type of financial hardship, homelessness, whatever. But stability seems to be very, very important here. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles is a match. Okay, so this person could have distorted some type of energy by way of your love life. I just feel like they're saying I'm releasing, I'm releasing you. But in reality, you're releasing them. <laughs> because you ascended is this making any sense somebody tell me in the comments like it's almost like they're saying i'm letting you go you're like no when i decided to walk away from you by way of the eight of cups and follow my destiny once i realized who i was and i started to recognize yo this is not my karmic debt let not my mother and my father's sins fall upon my head somebody was cloaking themselves in your energy yeah now this person wants to offer some type of an apology knight of cups they could have done something to um, affect your relationship with your children. Somebody's saying they were just, they just were never strong enough. Okay. Somebody was just never strong enough and knew that you were and knew that as long as they were hidden under you or with you over them, that they would never reap the karma by way of bad things that they were doing as they were being controlled by somebody else. This also could be a controlling husband as well. The emperor in reverse could be like a masculine could be a father figure, a husband, somebody was controlling them. I just feel like this person never had a chance. I feel like this person had mother issues, daddy issues, was controlled by the mother. I'm getting a very controlling mother, forcing them to do stuff. But this is energetically, y'all. This is demonic, generational curse type of an energy. Nine of Wands, somebody is paranoid because they don't know where they're going. Somebody's like, I never thought about you know, where my spirit would go after this. Somebody didn't think about the afterlife. You weren't supposed to outlive this person, okay? According to them, right? Mm, interesting. Yeah, page of wands. Somebody could have also done this to your children as well, okay? Yeah, somebody did something with your children. The chariot gives me uh, moving forward. Something about page of wands. Somebody could have manipulated your children. This person is saying, it wasn't me. It was the energy. It was the deity. Whatever this is, whoever this grandmother is, this mother of this mother that was controlling this person and they were eventually controlling you. This person had been controlled their entire life. They never knew who they were without that mother controlling them. This mother could have recently passed away. Like the mother's mother, the grandmother, your grandmother, your mother's mother could have recently passed away. And so now this person is getting some type of clarity but still controlled by whatever this energy is, okay? Again, they don't know themselves without that energy. It's been with them all of their life, you know, okay? This could be some form of mental illness, all right? I'm getting somebody that's like had nervous breakdowns uh, because of what their mother was doing to them by way of energy, by way of, yeah, work, page of wands, okay? Something about a child, something about a child, Cancerian energy, page of wands energy. Why is that here? Somebody got to try to take your children away. Yeah, they did. Somebody wanted to hold you back from a relationship with your children. Could have been a son. Okay, four of pentacles is holding back. The sun is here. Leo energy. Whatever this was, somebody was quite desperate in the end and just kind of gave in to the devil. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, king of cups could be real significant. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer don't necessarily have to be, but I think you trump this energy. By way of going within, somebody still wants to try to hold on to you. This is about mind control. Mind control. Yeah, Knight of Swords, mind control. I can't make it up. The magician is here. Somebody was working on somebody's mind. You see the way that magician is holding that ball? As if it's a head, they're channeling energy. This is what somebody was doing. Wanting to control your every step, your every move. Yeah, this is what they wanted. Knight of Swords represents the mind. Swords are always the mind for me. Okay. Knight. Somebody had been doing this since adolescence. Knight gives me teenager, 14, 15. Something's real significant about 14. 13 too. Okay. Some type of sacrifice. Okay. You could have started your menses around that time. And there was some weird type of agreement that somebody made with some type of deity around the time that you were able to reproduce. It's weird. By way of your manifestations, by way of, 
you being able to now give birth is what I'm getting. Even at 13, something about solar plex energy, somebody was like trying to siphon that and control your mind. Temperance is here, joy, peace, love. So somebody wanted to control your every move, your every thought, your every like, whoa, it's a tower on this ass. Even right now, baby, somebody's trying to tap in. I can feel it to see who's telling the story. Somebody's been seeing all your life. If you ever had some issue with your right eye, even your left eye, somebody could have done some type of spells to where they would always have an eye on you. Some type of eye on you. Ooh, we. The tower is here. Wow. Somebody said that their powers are getting weak. But this is the thing. Can we just have a real commercial break, baby? Listen, hold up. First of all, whoever's mother this is, she's suffering. I'm going to tell you why. Because even though she's saying that her powers are getting weak, it was never really her power that she was operating off of. Either way, no matter how you spin it, when her mother was controlling her with whatever the hell this is that somebody was doing by way of magic, mind control, dominance, dominating their mind, their personality to make them do certain things like a puppet. You know, they say, move your arm. This person move their arm. They say, blink this way. Like this is how much control this mother had over this, this, uh, this child, which is the child became your mother, right? Whatever that was, somebody's realizing they never really had any power anyway. Because again, they were always controlled. Now that that mother is deceased, that person feels as though they're being haunted by things that they did to you. And now that you've gone on with your life, this person is saying, you took your power back. I never really had any power. Also, they got with nothing but toxic ass lovers. Okay? Including your father. Something's real toxic there. But I see something like jumping around. I see a spirit like, you know, you know how you jump through hoops? It's like the moment something happens, they jump on this person or jump. It's like that, that energy. It's reminding me of that movie with Denzel Washington. Okay, I don't know the name of it, but the guy, the deity that didn't want to die. Remember, he, um, not the deity, well, he became a deity, but he was being controlled by something and they ended up giving him the death penalty. And remember, he was wanting to live through other people. This is the energy that I'm getting, okay? It was, it's giving, you know, time is on my side. Yes, it is. This is what they're saying. Whatever this energy is. Somebody was trying to affect your heart chakra. Somebody wanted your heart energy because you were pure. Okay. To manifest. Somebody manifested a whole life off of you as a child. Money, wealth. Okay, so if your family had money, the stepdad, the stepdad, yeah, queen of cups. I can't make it up. A mother. Somebody that was supposed to protect you, guide you. Somebody was being like controlled. I feel like where the mother left off, the husband picked up. Because whoever the grandmother is, she could have done some type of magic over your mother. Um to where she just kind of ended up in relationships that were based on her trauma, okay? It's like if you don't heal from that trauma, then you end up marrying your mother. You end up marrying your father, where whoever it is that you can't uh, heal from. So she basically married the same energy, very controlling, dominant, you know, manipulative-ass energy. But again, her mother could have been controlled by something. This is absolutely a curse. Yeah, six of wands. You got a victory. Yep, somebody knows it too and they want to apologize. But I feel like apology is not needed at this point. It's not necessary. You know, it's not going to help you by way of being the high priestess. You already know what it is. Yeah, six of wands. You got a victory. You've healed. You're sailing to calmer waters. You have a victory here. You were always meant to have a victory. And again, this person is saying, just accept my apology. Whatever they did with your child, okay? Somebody could have tried to collaborate three of pentacles with your child and turn your child against you. This person is saying, I'm sorry, this was a failed attempt. Yeah, you're too spiritually protected. Whatever they did to this child, if one of your children's in the custody of your parent, their grandmother or a family member, whatever this is, it's, too, it's crazy. Let me tell you something. Somebody is getting some 
backlash by way of magic that was done over you, over your child. This is some old school, very powerful black magic. Okay, like for real, for real. Somebody's saying, I just wanted to live through you. I will forever live through you. Like your strength, your power. You know, they're hoping to be a decent ancestral connection for you. This is their wish after they leave the physical body. Yeah, in death. I cannot make this up. Even right now, I'm getting a little bit of sharp something to my hip and my back. It's like somebody is praying that they can be there for you in death. Okay, is this making any sense? Like, I wasn't there for you in life. Well, you never realized until you awakened. Okay, you're the type of person that's like, oh, that's my mom. I love my mom. Just thinking that you're having a rough life and getting through life and going, no. You were supposed to have a life of abundance, joy, and you still are having a life of abundance and joy. It could have appeared to have been delayed, but this was a lot of karmic ass debt that you paid for your lineage, your mother's mother's mother. So you're like, okay, now that this is paid, I'm going about my way. Somebody is saying, you know, I want to be a favorable uh, spiritual guide for you in debt. Somebody was like, I wasn't there for you in life. I need to be there for you in debt. And again, this is a surprise to you. Like, surprise, surprise. Listen, your mama told you a whole bunch of stupid ass lies. Listen, surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Your mama told you a whole bunch of stupid, raggedy ass lies. High priestess is here, baby. Listen. So I think when you came to the realization like, yo, my mama's a whole karmic ass energy out here. This is a star that fell from grace, y'all. Mm-hmm. This person tried to sacrifice you, literally offered you over to the devil. Something about you were supposed to die at age 19. You could be age 39, 40, 41, 42, or older. Take what resonates, yeah. Or 29, okay? Whoever this is, something didn't work. Or somebody did it at different stages of your life. Thank you, spirit. And it didn't work. Mm-mm-mm. Whew, Lord have mercy. Whoever this father figure is, this person married your mother because she had children and knew that you were a star seed. This is a warlock. Whoever this king of wands is, this father figure, show me this father figure, please, and thank you. Step Like getting a stepfather. Yeah, two of wands. Somebody at a distance. Somebody from your family. Okay. You got a whole bunch of karmic ass people in this family with only a handful of chosen ones. And I feel like they took down every single last chosen one in the lineage or so they thought with the exception of you. Like somebody's just done, done. King of Wands, whoever this Aries Leo Sagittarius is, again, your family could be at a distance. Maybe you left, maybe you moved. I just heard something significant about Florida, Texas, Louisiana. I just heard Dallas, Dallas, Texas. Okay. Ten of Cups, this is family. Somebody could be trying to do some type of magic to have you come back. Okay, yeah, because they're obsessed. They want to bind themselves to you. These people don't want to die. They don't want to die, okay? So they've sacrificed everybody in the damn family, and they couldn't sacrifice you. Anything else I need to see, please, and thank you. So the purpose for them needing your child was to work through your child to get to you to try to keep you heartbroken or keep you in some type of low vibration yeah i can't make it up page of swords they did some type of mind magic over your child some type of mind magic page child swords there's gossip there's talk there's spying. this is how they were able to spy on you it's through the child but now somebody doesn't have any strength the energy that i'm feeling is real weak y'all damn Somebody's saying, how could you do this to me? What the? What does that mean? Ace of Cups. Three of Cups. Two of Pentacles. 
Somebody's like, how could you do this to me? How how dare you? How dare you leave me out in the cold? Like, what? Are these the same people <laughs> that tried to kill you? Like, somebody's like, how could you do that to me? Three of Cups. They're watching you be celebrated. Two of Pentacles. They're watching you come into balance. Healing from something that somebody tried to do to take your ass out. They could have tried to affect your finances. They wanted you homeless, sick, dead, something, and you healed. Somebody's like, how could you do this to me? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Like, how deep do you want this commitment to go? Because whatever it is, it's a hell to the no. Ace of Cups, somebody's watching you have this new beginning, a new start. Pulling your energy back. Whoever this father figure was, he did some type of work on your root chakra. Spirit says, what I'm saying is the truth. And the reason why the Ace of Swords is coming out is because you know the truth. You finally figured it out. Somebody wanted you blinded, like forever. They just thought, oh, this person will never figure this out. Never, ever. Like, what? Knight of Wands. Whoever this, whoever this father figure is. He's lustful. He's weird. He's nasty. This is the type of person that energetically molests young teenage girls. So he could have gotten with your mother because of her girls. It's not on a sexual level, though. It's energy for him. It's power. It's siphoning the power of young a young person. Yeah. But energetically... He's a spiritual rapist, astral projecting over young girls, taking their solar plex energy is what I'm getting, all for power, youth, money, whatever this is, it's not a wand. So whoever this fire sign father is, warlock energy, yep, I'm getting a straight up devil. Somebody is the, somebody is Satan's son, honey. <laughs> somebody is wicked. Eight of swords, he could be sick in a mental entrapment. Yeah, five of wands, always in silent competition. And severely under judgment for something he did in the past. He feels like a fool. Three of pentacles, they collaborated against you. And now these people are stuck. They're saying, how could you do this to us? Like they need your energy to maintain their lifestyle. Somebody made a lot of money. Somebody could be a multimillionaire. Somebody got some money off of your energy. Seven of wands, you're too spiritually protected. Your ancestors are saying, no, that's a wrap. Death is the only answer. Damn, 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 Sam. Shout out to the person whose name is Sam, who's high vibrational. Listen, Sam I am. Listen, green eggs and spam. I don't care what you call it or who you think you are or the great I am. But baby, this is the truth. Ace of Swords, this is the truth, Ruth, as far as I know it. This is what Spirit is saying. These people are way down. They tried to do some type of sympathy spell to get you to come back. Because even with the Page of Cups... And the magician, somebody wanted sympathy from you. Somebody wanted you to forgive them. Somebody's like, how could you do this to me? Like, what? Somebody is playing victim all day. These are sociopathic, narcissistic parents, you know? Like, the, like it's ridiculous. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. The hermit is here. Somebody's angry because you're using your intuition and you went within. You're sitting here as the high priestess, though. There's no higher than that. You went within and you asked the questions and you were really uh, like committed to accepting the, the truth and you wanted the truth. And so the universe gave you the truth. Yes, yeah, seven of cups. Somebody had you under some type of mind magic and illusion, depression, stress, anxiety, suicide, whoever these parents are, this mama and this warlock, baby. The reason why they're leaving you something is because they believe that at some point in your journey, on your journey, you're going to create some type of offering to them to try to, you know, allow them to get some type of retribution in death. Somebody's already seen their fate, okay, in the afterlife. Whoever this person is, uh, this father, he works a lot in the underworld with death, okay? Even though he's coming off as a king of wands, he does not have to be a fire sign. He could be something of somebody that works in the underworld, like I'm getting... Uh, to Hootie, I'm getting Anubis, I'm getting death, I'm getting Santa Muerta, I'm getting death, death, death. He works in death, okay? So he's seen his own death, he's seen his own demise, and he's also heard like the judgment beyond the grave is what I heard. Judgment beyond the grave. 
Okay. So in that, he's really, they're trying to leave you something, honey, some money. They're putting like some type of spiritual contract on it that you will forgive them. I'm smelling like burnt matches or something like that. Somebody could be sitting in front of the fireplace. Wherever these people are, they're burning something. They could be burning something. They could be burning um, something that they had that belonged to you. Maybe they were advised to do that by somebody. I just heard set the spirit free. They could be getting rid of a whole bunch of spiritual stuff they were tied to. Seven of Cups, baby. This is illusion. Somebody was projecting something on you. Somebody did an isolation spell. Somebody wanted you just kind of trapped away, lost, crazy. Just really lost, y'all. I can't even make this up. King of Swords. Somebody's upset that you got King of Swords on that ass. That you got smart. King of Swords is wise. Observant. Mature. Not a battle fighting fool. You figured this out in a way that somebody did not think that you would figure it out. Somebody could have a Jeep. Something significant about a Jeep. Okay. J-E-E-P. Jeep. A truck. Or whatever this is. Maybe one of these parents drives a Jeep. Okay. This is somebody that you showed a lot of respect to. Even though this is not your biological father, you showed a lot of respect to this person. Whoever this person is, as they were raising you, yeah, you did not think that these people were doing this to you. I'm telling you. This is somebody that's like, oh, that's my mom. That's my dad. Or somebody could have saw your family like, oh my God, you guys are like, you know, the Huxtables. You're perfect. You're this, you're that. And it's a whole bunch of witchcraft going on. And you got a stepfather that's spiritually molesting you. Let's just call it what it is. You know, I send you peace, love, and light. If you're still triggered by this, this is definitely a shadow that you need to tackle face on and tackle that demon and take your power back. Even if you got to go back to age six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or whatever you remember, because somebody did a memory spell on you too. Okay. When I saw that page of swords with the magician, the seven of cups, somebody didn't want you to remember. Somebody could have done something over your memory. Not only just your memory by what they did, but they didn't want you to remember who you were. Any like a past life. I just heard ISIS. Oof. Something's real significant about your eyes. Egyptian eyes, Indian eyes, Indian hair. Somebody is like a bronzy gold color baby. Come through. Somebody's like a really nice jet black, you know, caramel macchiato too. <laughs> On a good sunny day. Ace of Cups, you got the helping hand of the creator. It's straight aces. You ace the test. This is what Spirit is saying. You came with that ace of swords and you used it wisely. You didn't abuse your power. And these people have to bow down to you. They don't want to, but they are now under your feet. Okay? They have to leave you some money. They were advised by some type of spiritual person. Baby, I cannot make it up. The tower is here. They were advised by some spiritual practitioner, some type of divination of who you were. Somebody did something recently to find out who you were. Somebody knows that you're strong enough because of everything that you have had to go through. This is a lot. This is somebody that had enemies in second grade, third grade, seventh grade. You just wonder, why the hell I got all these enemies? What the hell is this about? Very controlling stepfather, very dominant energy. Hmm. I just heard you never knew your real biological family. Maybe this, this stepfather's family was your family. They're all Eastern star witches. All of them. All of them. I'm getting Masonic energy from this stepfather. This person is very high rank. Absolutely 33 degrees and above. By way of ranking. Somebody abused their power. I just heard you were supposed to be famous. You're supposed to be a star. Something about your gifts. Somebody could play an instrument. Dancing, tap dance, jazz, tap, something. Model, something's real beautiful and radiant about you. And every step of the way, you just overcame it, overcame it. And somebody could not realize um, their own mistakes. Like they were so self-absorbed. It's like... They thought they were blinding you, but they were really blinding themselves. When I say they couldn't realize, 
They were blinded to the truth that the divine was always walking with you. Somebody was trying to figure out why wasn't this working at different stages of your life? How did you get to the point where you undid all of this magic by way of being the high priestess? They're trying to figure out how did you do that? I'm talking high ranks, y'all. Like my father's 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 father taught me how to do this. This is what this man is saying. Somebody understood manipulating energy. I just heard they took your sister out. This person could have had a biological child with your mother, making this your half sister or whatever this is. Same, same mother, different fathers. They took her out. This person turned his daughter in or sacrificed her, turned her into an entire Jezebelian spirit. She's quite promiscuous. I kid you not. All of this for money, wealth, power. Mm. Somebody's trying to figure out how the hell you still made it to high priestess status with, with obviously no help from them because they wanted you sick, dead, homeless, whatever this was. You went through some stuff though. Some of this stuff hit you. Because I really feel like the people that you were, you could have been asking for help from were the people that were doing this to you. The moment you realized it, you became a target for this stepfather and your mother. You became a target. You absolutely did. And now they got to leave you something. Ooh. Yeah. King of Cups in reverse. Somebody hated you. The moment you started to crawl up out of whatever little mind control this was or these mental handcuffs and you got up out of this self-imposed imprisonment, you became a target for your family. So this gift that they're giving you is because they have to give it to you. Somebody just got divination done. I'm being guided to pull the practitioner. Okay. Somebody was told you better leave her something. You better leave him something. <laughs> Because this could be a masculine too. But I'm getting a feminine high priestess and a mother. You could have two sisters, three sisters. I feel like they all got different dads though, y'all. Or maybe this was the one that she ended up with. You know, maybe she came in with three children. And, and, and they've been together for a while, whoever this is. Somebody's like, how are we going to do this? Like, they don't even know how they're going to die. I can't make it up. I just sh like cut the deck and shuffled the deck. The Hierophant, they went to a practitioner. Recently. Some reason they want to leave you some money. What? Why is this? Show me this practitioner. What was said in the divination? Angels, can you please show me what was said in the divination? What is it that these parents know about this high priestess? Oh, we. Queen of Cups, okay, so you're coming up as somebody caring, loving, and kind. Here's your mother. You could be holding back energy and communication. Absolutely collaborated for a cup. Somebody was told to give you, a, let you go. Look, Queen of Cups, this is a mother figure. This also is you coming up as the better version of your mother, I just heard. The best version of her by way of caring, loving, and kind. Somebody went and found out that you are still not bitter and resentful, even though you found this out. Now, I cannot say that there was not a dark night of the soul where you probably was like, these motherfuckers then did what? Because you completely awakened to this. You had no idea. But when you went on this journey, whatever this was that you had to get away from these people as guided by source, once you awakened, you became a target because whoever this person was, they just did not. They couldn't live with their secrets being found out, okay? There's somebody that absolutely abused their power. You absolutely are holding back communication from these people. You're not in communication. This is what the uh, practitioner told them, that you're not coming back, okay? You're being celebrated. You got new friends. This is giving me soul tribe energy, finding people that resonate with your soul. These people are in heavy regret. Why? Because you're the sacrifice. They needed you to come back so they could try to feed off your energy some more. Four of Cups. Something's real significant about April. April 1st. For somebody, that's not for everybody. Ace of Wands. This practitioner told him, listen, this person has gone on. Ace of Wands is like the divine giving you a fresh new start. 
Whew, what did the practitioner say, child? I just feel like they was like, get this person. Somebody, somebody's saying no. Somebody's saying no. Like, leave this person alone. Yeah, they're trying to come in and make some type of an agreement with you. And, and whoever this practitioner is, they're like, no, no, leave this alone. You're just going to have to accept your fate. It's over. Two of Cups. They're like, well, we want this person to come back. We want to try to make amends. We're trying to. They're like, no, no, no. This is somebody in your family. I cannot make it up. Somebody wanted to do something else by way of witchcraft, a sympathy spell to get you to come back. That hasn't worked. Yeah. Slow moving energy. Somebody wanted to slow down your path. That hasn't worked. Whatever they were told, somebody was like, well, we're just going to go in and make an offer to her. And we know that this person was like, no, please keep your cup before you get yourself hurt out in these spiritual streets. This is a high priestess and they're now being guided by source of all things. Oh, wait. What did the practitioner say? Yeah, the lovers. Somebody blocked your love life. Whoever this stepfather is, he's a weirdo. He's been he's been like watching all your relationships, honey. Weirdo, weird, oh, weird, oh, weird, oh, weird, oh, silently in some weird type of love with you. He's a weirdo. People like this for me are disgusting. You know, you get with a woman, she has children, you raise the child and then you got some type of weird obsession with the child and you watch her grow and go through puberty and you a full blown devil, succubus, vampire, abusing your energy. This person caused all your breakups. Okay. So you kept wondering why you kept ending up with all these karmic ass men. It was him. He put some type of sexual energy onto you too. So whatever that energy was, you've overcome that. You could have taken a vow of celibacy. Okay, the lovers, this person caused all your breakups. This person was like weird, wanted to vicariously like be with you through your lovers. Oh my God. Well, listen, whoever this little wicked bastard is, I can't make it up. Sneaky and deceptive, baby. He's been exposed. He's embarrassed. Whoever your mama is, like girl, why? Death is here. I cannot make it up. They both could be dying, honey. Death is here. Death means death, honey. Four of wands. They affected, they affected your true soulmates. So this is what they did. They were doing magic over you since you were a child. Let's just have a real commercial break. Magic over you since you were a child. They did something around the time of adolescence to bind your love life. Once you started to get your menses, there was some type of sacrifice that these people were advised under the moon that they could do to hold your love life back so that you would only have karmic lovers that would hurt you, right? So if everybody you've been with, you like, damn, what's the, what the hell is going on? You got all these weird ass karmic lovers back to back to back to back to back. Somebody set it up that way. Somebody wanted you to choose these lovers because of the low vibration that you were in trying to move forward. But even still, you have a heart of gold because you're coming up as the queen of cups. Somebody that loves themselves. You were just encountering a lot of dark ass people. This father, this mother, they were setting this up this way. This was a part of the sacrifice for you not to have true love. And then there's like a breakup, right? Because why? They wanted to affect your heart, have you heartbroken. So you move through life and you can't manifest. They can take your gift and by a certain age, they just kill you and keep it, keep it pushing. This person had already sacrificed people. If you have a nephew, a cousin, a sister, or somebody that passed away at a young age, they sacrifice them. They sacrifice them. So now these people are facing death and trauma. They don't know what is coming after they take their last breath. Four of Wands, you're now able to go into whatever type of soulmate union because the curse has been broken. Page of Cups, now they won't apologize for past investments. Four of Swords, somebody's ass is sick. If not the both of them, Ten of Pentacles, they're leaving you something because they don't know what else to do. It's like who the hell's getting a moment of decency and or, you know, uh, empathy and sympathy at this point in the spiritual game. Like, are you really all of a sudden? Oh, it's the right thing to do. We're going to leave you a billion dollars. Well, listen, for pain and suffering, it's the least that you could damn do. You rob somebody of their whole damn life. But spirit is saying it was supposed to be this way. When you were guided to walk away, you did. And the moment you did, karma played out. Eight of Cups. It's twerking on down the yellow brick road. You like, I'm out. Somebody doesn't want to leave the money to anybody else. Whoever these siblings are, they didn't already sacrifice them. So they just vessels, roaming, walking the earth, succubus, demons. They didn't sacrifice them. 
So they're not even good people to leave anything to. You see the way that shit backfired? Like, yo, listen, this your work. That's what y'all created. Look at this. The hangman is here. Something was a big failed attempt. Somebody could have tried to destiny swap with your sister or something like that. Or weird shit. This is like weird shit going on. The moment you walked away, let me just tell you, you pissed them off. Because you're awakening to the bullshit. When you realize what they had done to you, you got really, really mad. And somebody definitely did some type of spell, some type of request, some type of uh, offering to the devil to have you in poverty. Basically for, for you to die with a broken heart and be sad. No love, no people, no house, no money. Just out there desolate, sad, and dead. This is what they wanted. I'm just keeping it real. I don't want to trigger anybody. If you're triggered, then baby, listen, you're going to have to stay up in that shadow. Until you're not bothered by this. Because what I will tell you is that everything has unfolded the way that it should. It is the way that it is. This was already finished before it got started. When I mean finished, like as your life started, this was already done. But I feel like you know that. Somebody shocked with your level of healing and maturity. How did you heal from death? Anything else that this practitioner, show me the practitioner. I feel like the practitioner is just done. Archangel Michael, please and thank you. Show me this practitioner. Yep, sneaky and deceptive. Sneaky and deceptive. This practitioner could be practitioner, excuse me, could be doing something to them to save themselves from karma. Wherever this practitioner is, they've been using this practitioner for a long time. These people got a lot of money off of your back. They got a lot of money. So not only did they pay a really large amount of money to take you out, this is money that they manifested off of your back. Off of your pure star seed, innocent child. I'm seeing you as an innocent, pure child. Loving. Show me this practitioner. Why is that seven of swords here? Archangel Michael, show me the truth. Yep. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. Everybody's stuck like a mother freaking truck. In the rut, in the mud, can't get out, spinning your wheels and, and with nowhere to go. Baby, sit down. Seven of Swords, sneaky and deceptive, whoever this practitioner is, they're stressed out. They're stressed out. Nine of, listen, somebody has had a premonition of where they're going and or descending to by way of after death. It's the life after death. I just heard this was a failed attempt, a horrible collaboration. Somebody told them, look, you better hope that this person don't call judgment down on us in a severe way to take us out even after life by way of silencing us in the grave, which means they don't get another chance to ascend and or be resurrected or come back to have any forms of deja vu and get a new life. Oh, wait a minute. Sound like the table's the damn turn. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's like, leave this person some money. Yeah, because of these past investments. These people are sick from witchcraft, including the practitioner. Begging for forgiveness. And you all in a brand new union. Death is here. You get to move forward. Whatever this is, they got to give you something. Somebody did moon magic for, for the, uh, every birthday, every holiday. Baby, they was on time consistently doing moon magic over you so that they could keep this wealth and keep this power. It's like, what was the what was this decision, you know, after they had sacrificed everybody? What was what was the ultimate decision? To sacrifice you. Why? Because they didn't want to die. These people's time has been up. They're dragging out a death sentence, okay? They're running out of sacrifices. They don't have no more sacrifices. The fact that they tried to sacrifice you was the best thing that they could have ever done. The fool is here. Somebody knew that their time was up. Whoever these people are, they could be in their 70s, late 60s. Some of these people is, are done. Period. Somebody took another leap of faith, honey, to get their wishes fulfilled because they didn't want to die. They so in love with the world. And so you know what they did? They casted you out. They wanted you shut out. They didn't want you to be a part of nothing because they couldn't control you no more. This is why they were mad. Queen of Swords on that ass. Little did they know you cut their ass off because you found out the truth. You didn't want to be a part of them anyway. You're like, where's my real family? I'm out of here. Yeah, Knight of Cups, you're out. 
Queen of Wands. Family. This is family, honey. It's over. The Hierophant. It's over. Good news about money. Somebody's leaving you something. Somebody's leaving you something. They're weighed down because even in this gift, they don't even know how you're going to feel about the whole situation. It's like, yo, you took the better half of this person's life and you didn't even take it. You just made it a little challenging. And this person has passed every test. I just heard Spirit say you passed every test. Whoever was next in line or whoever knows or whatever this is by way of lineage, somebody is grudgingly leaving you this gift. Like, uh, I guess. But spiritually, they're being advised that, yeah, the spirits are saying, the higher ups are saying, the ascended masters are saying, yeah, she's the one. Damn. <laughs> Somebody didn't even want you to be the one. They could still be trying to put tests on you to prove that you're not the one. And you are. They don't want to give it to you. The sun is here. Things have been illuminated for you. You're happy. You're peaceful. And it had nothing to do with what these people did for you or did not do for you. The Most High says, it was I that delivered you with the mighty right hand. It was I that was holding you in the night, baby, when everybody turned against you. It was I, the great I am. And I had to have you go on this path. I needed these people to do exactly what they did so that you would know who I am, the great I am. Ooh, I and my father are one. Anything else, spirit, that we need to see? Archangel Michael, you came with the business today. Baby, Knight of Wands, whoever this father is, whoever this lustful energy is, whatever this is, this person is going to burn for hurting young women and boys. They've done a lot of like they love succubus sexual energy to siphon by way of magic. This is what the angels want us to know. OK. The magician, this person is going to burn. High priestess is your mother. This person was supposed to be a star. Somebody stole her star. Her mother was working her and she ended up with this weird ass person because this is what happens when somebody's pulling the strings on your life they didn't want her to have love so she ended up with this person that ended up controlling everything she did controlling her mind i'm getting this feeling like this is the type of person that never left the house somebody did paranoia spells over her and then somebody wanted to do it to you somebody also tried to pass over their disease and their karma they just wanted to dump on you like you was a trash can like, what is this? The high priestess. Yeah, she was supposed to be a star. This is not somebody that was supposed to be bad in this life. So she's begging for forgiveness because she's coming out from some type of control, mind control. She's watching, asking that you forgive her. She's trying to heal. She's watching you heal. She's under judgment. Money can't save you. Yeah, I just heard money can't save them now. Money could never save them. They got a whole bunch of stuff and a whole bunch of things and everything that they sold their soul for, it's over. I mean, I can't make it up. You saw the cards fall. You saw me shuffle. Spirit don't lie. This is the truth. Death is here. It's over. It wasn't worth it. These people are at a distance. Somebody feels like they're not going to get a chance to see you before they die, and they're not. Spirit is guiding you to say no. Yeah, I'm getting these people died to you a long time ago, you know? When you were sitting right next to them and they starved you out of just good spirituality and good energy all together. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you figured it out. It's a tower. Wow. Well, I'm going to close this door. This is the message for somebody. Somebody needed truth and clarity in a situation. No, you're not crazy. No, you're not schizophrenic. No, you're not losing your mind. Somebody did this to you. Okay. Somebody did this. It's a lot of magic, a lot of black magic. Somebody was really consistent with doing it. Somebody sacrificed you and handed you over to whoever this man was, okay? Whoever your mother is, her being hurt by your father, whatever the hell that was, she handed you over to this stepfather. This person could have been in your life since you were five, six, seven, young age, young enough to where you would consider them to be a father. This person was very, very angry with the fact that they could never destroy your light. Okay, this is a very strict guy, very by the guidelines, by the book type of guy is the energy I'm getting from him. The emperor in reverse is controlling, 
very controlling person. Ooh, you survived it. You survived it. You survived it. I just heard beatings. Maybe somebody was like the disciplinarian of the family, like more like, you know, to give uh, whoopings and spankings or whatever else they call that crap today. Somebody wanted to beat the light out of you. Somebody was very vindictive, very nasty. And I promise you, this person is feeling every little bit of whatever they did to you times 10 because the most high's hand is in the middle of all of this. So don't feel as though your retribution has not been something that is important. It absolutely is. And I promise you, you just keep walking this walk. Because you've gone through this, whoever you are, you could be in a position where maybe you're supposed to help children, teenagers, something about going into uh, the judicial system. This could be like, I just heard women's prisons, okay? Talking to them, something about childhood trauma. This is what has certified you. And this is how you're going to take your pain and turn it into power. That's a real, very specific download. But I love y'all, okay? Thank you so much for hanging in there with me by way of this reading. I love you. I love you. I love you. All information is down below. I will see you in the next video. Thank you again. Peace be with you.